My name's Dave Bauer. I've been um, in the Grazing Lands Coalition for, oh, probably about 10 years or so. Just recently became a mentor. Um, I'm from north and east of Bismarck, North Dakota, Baldwin and Riggin area. I originally grew up on a hog farm and raised hogs in a confinement situation and we started to expand our farming operation and as my dad and brother expanded on the farming I came back from college and to try to come back to the farm I was kind of a hired hand and, and then we'd come into land a lot like this that had cropland but it also had a lot of pasture. Uh, we decided that if I went into the cattle side of it, so when the cows got out, I would take care of that thing, and my brother and dad would take care of the farming thing, and, and that's kind of how I got into the cattle, because I've always liked the animal side of it. So I've got about uh, 250 head of cattle on uh, about 2,500 acres of both uh, pasture and grassland. Well, uh, as far as conception rates, when I first got out of college, a lot of, I, I graduated with an animal science degree and range management. So you're taught that the more you can stick into that animal, the more she can return t to you. And when I first started, I calved in March. I uh, had to get the animals in good condition by feeding a lot of high quality hay in uh, April, May, because by June, they had to be in tip top shape you know, in order to be able to conceive. I also took artificial inseminating class, so you had to feed a certain feed for 14 days, and then you had to give them a shot. Then you ran them through again, and then you inseminated them, gave them a shot, and then you ran them through them again, and you second inseminated them. I think when I did that, I got like a 55% conception rate, and everybody that I talked to said that was amazing. Well, <laughs> I want a lot better you know, when I put the bulls out, they, they, they get better than that. So then I decided to start leaning towards the more natural way. Well, in uh, 2011, I took the holistic management class. They were more, you know, you need to match your cattle nutritional needs with your area's plant nutrient excesses. So, well, the last thing you want to do is calve in March then, because when the grass is growing lush and green and it's the highest nutrition is probably late May, and June. You know, that's that's when in North Dakota here we get a good chunk of our grazing and, and our our growth and the highest nutrition in the grasses. So now we do get some later season, you know, stuff, but, but if you're trying to do it before that, the cow just can't get the nutrition unless you're paying for it to go into her. I, I move my calving dates to May and so they're getting fresh fresh allotments all the time, but it, it's not like I'm trying to get a 95 or 80% conception rate. 80, I've, I've gotten it once, but a lot of times it's, when I first started, I think it was 65, you know, were the conception rates on them. But as I've done this, the, the heifers that I'm getting are improving. So my conception rates for my heifers have improved just because I've improved my entire herd by doing this. If I'm starting anew, uh, one thing I would try to do is, is find somebody, and that's, that's one place where the Grazing Lands Coalition can really help, is find somebody that is doing raising cattle the way you think cattle should be raised or raising cattle the way you want to raise them. It, it's nice to get information from people all over, but if you live in North Dakota, you need to know what someone in North Dakota has seen and, and been there sort of thing. And I know we, we all get busy and, and it's hard to do, but especially when you're starting out, those cattle will tell you what they need, when they need it, and, and how, how to do a better job. Sometimes you just gotta step back and, and let the cattle tell you what they need to know. Yeah.